Oh, Jesus Christ. The thing's heavy. Alright. So. Today I'm just going to do, or try to do a quick review on the backpack, the tool backpack that I use for work. Uh, just a quick background. I'm a plumber. And this is what I use when I go in, in and out of people's homes. When I go into rough in or top out sites. When I do uh, trim outs, whatever it may be, I take this bag everywhere with me. Usually gets the job done with whatever's in it right now. Um, this is the Tech Pack from Vito Pro Pack. Uh, let's get started. We'll just start on the outside of the bag. So, we got a bunch of pockets on the outside. This, usually I can only, I can only see somebody using this. You can actually loosen these straps up right here. I can usually only see somebody using this if they want to throw a, like a power tool or something like that in there. Uh, I don't use it for that, obviously, but um, I just got some extra wire nuts, whatever. So, um, also a quick note before I get into everything. I'm also going to show the tools that I use inside of this bag just for people in case they were wanting to know or wonder what they can actually put in their bag. Doesn't matter what trade you're in. Just shows what kind of tools you can fit in this bag, how many tools you can fit in this bag. Just give people a better understanding of what they can put in this bag and what they can fit in this bag. So forgive me if I'm a little slow and I'm showing tools and stuff like that, but um, it's just to give people a better understanding of what they can actually throw in this bag, um, which can be quite a bit because as it sits right now, this, this bag is sitting about 50, 55 pounds. I know it's heavy, but it is a backpack, so it's good if you go up and down stairs or whatnot, tight spaces. Um, at least you're not knocking stuff over in people's homes. So, first pocket. Don't really carry much in it, but uh, I will carry um, some tools from time to time if I do need to grab my drill or something like that, like a small drill. I can throw in there, strap it up. It's another little pocket right here. Um, I'll just carry like small aerator tools and stuff like that in there. Um, just a little... Here's and there's whatever it's velcro also straps it's like a little clamp right here um on the side here you got a few little pockets this is just my gas key um, i just carry a long one that'll fit in pretty much uh any claw valve doesn't matter the distance i guess um also comes with this little strap right here i use it for teflon you can use it for whatever you want i added this little noodle right here um, just for some extra stuff that I can carry it at some point um, Got a lot of padding back here, which I do love um, Also have like a hidden little hook right here that you can hang your bag on uh, Which is also a nice feature. This thing's really strong. I've actually hung this bag plenty of times um, And like I said, it's 50 55 pounds. So um, it's really strong that can actually hold that um, some decent paddings right here on the shoulder straps um, this actually brings the shoulder straps up a little bit a little more reinforced right here so this comes on and off um, you definitely want to most likely take it off if you're going to get in the back pocket which is right here this back zipper pocket which we'll get to a little later um, super nice uh, super strong very good quality this bag does come with a five-year warranty if i'm not mistaken which is better than most any bag that i've I've used um, also I've used this bag for about a year and a half in case I haven't mentioned that and um, it's been through some shit and nothing is broken on it at all so we'll go to this side of the bag got another little hook here you can hang stuff on I uh, got one of my other little noodles I just carry like some blue tape I'm gonna mark stuff off I'm drilling holes and tall whatever it may be um, some electrical tape and I use the electrical tape mainly for cuts if I cut my fingers, so I'm not an electrician uh, We have some hacksaw blades here that I just carry There's some little pockets down here that you can carry some stuff in pencils and blades and whatnot a uh, little hook right here for the tape measure Sorry if I'm sniffling guys. All right Let's see. Also, one thing I forgot to mention on the bottom, it's got this hard shell on the bottom. Obviously, it's waterproof. Protect your bag from water. This job does, or this bag does a really good job of standing up on its own, which is one of the favorite things, or one of my favorite things about this bag. 
it's better than any other bag that I've used. I have the DeWalt bag, um, which is over here behind me on my shelf that I've retired. Uh, I used to have the Milwaukee job site backpack, um, which is a really good backpack as well, but none of them hold up quite as good as this bag. I'll say that for sure. And I've given my Milwaukee bag away. Um, so let's get into, I don't think I've really missed much. Um, just a great quality bag. Let's get into, I'll put that up later. Let's get into the main pocket on the front. Okay. So I don't know how many pockets are in here. There's quite a bit, obviously. I seem to be missing some tools. I usually keep little crescent wrenches here. Anyways, plethora of, po of pockets inside this bag. Um, I carry uh, some little pliers in here. Some little crescent wrenches that I fit on the top. All these smaller tools just fit on the top here. I usually have some more tools here. I'll have to find those. Um, small little screwdriver. It's a little tester, electrical tester. I carry a bunch of crescent wrenches, or I'm um, sorry. Um, I carry a bunch of channel locks in here. Um, got some more crescent wrenches right here in the back. Uh, Plenty of screwdrivers, flathead, Phillips, whatever. There's just some plumbing tools like a, a tub wrench and stuff like that. A couple different tub wrenches. Ratcheting cutters, level, hammer, basin wrench, 10 snips, needle nose pliers, 6 and ones back here, 14 and one um, You also have quite a bit of room right here in the front of all these pockets, which is how I'm able to actually fit like this basin wrench and this little hammer right here. Um, you got a nice thick pocket right here in the front which I carry a bunch of allen wrenches some plumber's grease and stuff like that and here in the front you also have uh, also like this as well I want to mention this you can actually tuck this strap away in the pocket and you can hang it right here as well as there, there's another one up here as well you can hang that up there as well I just use this to actually keep the front of the bag from hitting the floor so that's that's i thought that was a nice feature so i'm actually going to take that down right now and here i just keep um like a little uh ratchet set a little small ratchet set it's got some specialty bits on it as well some nut drivers some boxing wrenches that's pretty much what i keep in there all right, and then when I'm done with that, I usually keep this on pretty much at all times because usually when I'm in someone's home, it actually doesn't hit the ground right here. So it's never actually touching the floor. It doesn't get the front of the bag dirty or anything like that, even though I'm sure it is dirty at this point. But this, this is pretty hefty. And as you can see, the bag is still standing up perfectly straight. Let's go to the back here. I'll take this off right here. Keep a pretty fair amount of stuff in the back as well. This is just some pipe dope or thread sealant, some putty, plumber's putty. Keep a strap wrench. It's also another one of these pockets in the back. I keep like little small screwdrivers, specialty tools, picks, stuff like this in this pocket as well. Um, and this, this padding on the back, it's super thick, so it does a really good job of actually not filling what's inside here. So just another thing to mention. More specialty tools, just pipe shredders and stuff, just for plumbers nobody really cares about. But that's quite a bit of stuff you can actually fit in this pocket though. So, and again, I can't feel, I can't feel any of that through this padding on the back. So it's really nice. Um, got a fair amount of pockets in here. A little more space, bigger gap on the back right here. So I got some some big copper cutters right here on the back. Um, this is a strap wrench. Some more little copper cutters down there. Just some different drywall tool. More plumbing tool. Just stuff like that. Big socket wrench. Pretty much, that's pretty much everything about this bag. 
Uh, I love this bag. Again, I've been using it for a year and a half. I'm sure I'm gonna use it a lot longer. Oh, there's another little pocket right here too. Um, that's a little mini screwdriver set that I need sometimes. Um, this is some more like miniature pockets right here. They're elastic. I don't really, can't really fit anything that I have in there. Uh, nothing really practical, I guess. Got some side pockets right here as well. And there's one actually in the front of the bag um, that I didn't show, sorry. But it is, uh, it's reinforced, it's like hard plastic, so it'd be good for something like a, a drywall blade or something like that you can shove down in there so it doesn't mess up the pocket. But that's pretty much everything I know about this bag. Again, I've used it for a long time. Hasn't failed me one time. Literally nothing has broken on it. Um, and I can't recommend this bag enough to anyone who's in any kind of trade, electrician, plumbing, anybody that carries around tools all day, any kind of technician, anybody that carries around a bunch of tools all day, this would be the perfect bag for them. This bag is expensive, but it will not break down on you. It comes with a five year warranty. If you break anything on it, I'm pretty sure they'll replace it if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case but super high quality bag um, and I love it. So thanks guys.